Hey, it's James from Free Electrical. In today's video, we're installing six EV chargers commercially. Here we go. All right, so we're into the job now. So I've got my GoPro, so this is filmed on iPhone. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you what we're doing. So we've got all these six EV chargers to go in. So it's the shell. We've got the shell recharged now. It used to be called New Motion. There we go. So we've got a 25 mil, six mil armoured. We're just pulling that in now. So it goes all the way. <laughs> it's gonna go from here all the way around, come out the warehouse, down and into the car park. So I'll show you that in a bit. But at the moment, we're just gonna run this in. So we'll kind of take you step by step how we're doing this and hopefully learn a bit. So yeah, we'll get this cable in next. So we'll get it running. And I'm sure you the cable run. So sweaty work today trying to pull that in. Here we go. <sighs> the cable is in. Let's see this cable comes all the way to there. So what I'll do is run it along and decide where this pen fault detection is gonna sit. Here we go, we've got the cable from there then, all the way around. It's kind of just piled up at the moment. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. But yeah, we've got a little hole through now. So that's just like the air con. So they'll build a little house for it, a little shelter over the top of it. But we'll have to, I've got this, it's like a, it's like for car doors. And it just fits in really well. It's got like little teeth inside. It stops it pulling out. It's kind of molding quite well to this. Oh, so it's metal. We'll get that all the way around. We'll seal it with the side. Once we get the cable through, I'm going to have to put some fire sealant in there. Just to uh, kind of stop that hole. Oh, absolute sweating. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that cable through, have a bit of munch. Um, there we go, that's gone in beautifully. So there we go. That should stop the cable getting cut into. So a little side and we'll get it pulled through so the cable doesn't get cut into. There we go, so that's its little uh, house, I'm gonna call it. So I'm gonna make one of these. Uh, and then here, and here we go, speaking of the devil. It should be fast in this thing. <laughs> Look at that, and that ain't coming off. It's gliding through. All right, so this is gonna go down and out. I'm, I'm getting squished down for a moment. But we got, you might be on camera? Yeah, that's fine. We've got Ryan, uh, Riley here. Yeah. Yeah. I called him Ryan earlier, and he, he accepted it. Um, and he's helping us get this cable in. So, yeah, it's going in. The cable's not getting squished. So we'll do this and then get some munch. Job's a good one. There we go, that's this cable disappearing into the distance. Right, stop. Yeah, that's going to end up going through there. What we'll do is just, we should have to lay it into a, a tray all the way around. So the tray will have to start here. So I'll tray work coming down here then. So we, uh, and then we'll have to do a 90. Um, get fixings there. And then get fixings on that wall, if you can hear me. <laughs> here we go. You right, lads? <laughs> you taking him for a walk? There we go. So that's his uh, five car six mil. Yeah, I'll go that round. And then we've got his armoured cap five. So that is rated for the same rating as the cable in. So basically you, you can run them both next to each other because um, it's kind of rated to do that. So you can get armoured cable that do that, which is quite good. If not, we'd have to have separate ducts for them. So yeah, this is where the EV charge is going to go then, so it's, it's this far bay, there's EV charges over across there. Uh, we've got a duct in this corner, and there's going to be an EV charge just here. We're going to duct under with a big cable to a cabinet in the corner, there's, we've got some groundworks guys doing that now. And then there's going to be four charging points over here coming from that duct. So we've got a little three-phase fuse bar to go in there, and that'll basically supply it all. So that's, uh, that's kind of how we've planned it. Oh, it's been an absolute boil in there. Up in there. But we've got the cable through, so I'll show you that. So we've got to come back. Obviously the cable comes out there, just put a bag over it, stop the water getting in. Well, that'll get trade down. It'll kind of swoop, and then there'll be tray across here. Yeah, on the bottom. Yeah, we've got some issues, so I pull that in. Because it kind of went nice and straight, and then went yank. So what I'll do is just push that back to the wall and get him get, get that tied back. I dug under to there. And then it'll just jump onto some tray work all the way along there. That'll be that. 
that goes through because it's ducted in here. So you got your big fat one going this way and you got your two EV chargers for there. So that'll be like a double pole there. So you got your, this will be the, the Pro. So the Pro will sit here. So with the shell ones, you got a Pro. The Pro basically is the brains, which tells all the kind of slaves what to do. That's got the Pro. And then you got the light, L-I-T-E. So it'll be a Pro on this side, light on the other, whichever way it round is. And that'll come around here, that data into this one. That will show you the, the big pit. But yeah, the data's just kind of come in, out, in, out, in, out. There's a chain, it's called. Um, so because they're all linked, it's called um, dynamic power sharing. So basically, if you plug one in, you'll get 22 kilowatt, another one in 22 kilowatt, another one in 22 kilowatt. But eventually, it'll hit that limit and it'll reduce them all. So it'll never kind of uh, set fire to the cable or burn the... Uh, I'll, I'll trip the breaker. Can't speak today, I'm not <laughs> So... Cables come through, it's ducked in there, into that way. So we've got this main cable here, which will do a fuse board, two chargers there. And we've got four chargers here, which go through this duct in, into yon, 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 and yon. So uh, that'll do. So we've just got a bit of tidying up to do, and then that'll be us done down here for today. When we come back, we've just got to do the tray work on the side. Uh, we're going to put the cabinet on. So again, this is just being laid today. So because it was kind of a wooden box around it, it, it meant that we could run the cables without damaging the, the concrete. So we'll, uh, we'll get, once that's set, next week, next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday we're down, we'll get that kind of fastened down the unit. And then there'll be a little fuse board in there with those 40 amp type A RCBOs, which will uh, do these cables here. So there we go. Pah, got a big fly in my head. <laughs> and we are back down today then. So just getting this cable tray in. I'll show you what we're doing. So then we've got the cables all the way through, didn't we? To all the points. So we've got the data cables and all that to well between every charger. And then we've got from the box four cables going that way, the 6 mil 5 car. And this way we've got two 6 mil 5 cars going to the two charger at the front and data cables in between. And we can start on the cable tray then. I've slid that cable out. So that should nicely tuck in and just lay onto the cable tray. So what I've done, I've got this little bracket, got this level, and I've just mapped out these points then. So we've got one every 600, 600 should be plenty on this. Uh, yeah, so you've got a point. I've got a top one in already. Got this guy here, middle, this guy on the bottom. That should be enough to hold it. Um, then what I'll have to do is get down here. This is literally the bending radius of the cable. So you can't just, Rag it more than it needs to, otherwise uh, you're not going to get your bed in radius. They always heat up um, if you get if it's too tight. So what we have to do is get the tray work coming down. Uh, I haven't fully decided yet, but it might have to kind of float and then fix here and fix here. Or we might be able to do some some cable tray magic where we kind of do a 90 bend or a staggered bend, uh, kind of get it angled backwards slightly. And then try and get a couple of fixings along here. So maybe a fixing there, a fixing towards the end uh, after laying here. And then it's just gonna have to swoop. So you can't kind of bend it into the corners and make it look really neat. It's gonna have to swoop from this fascia uh, to the back there. So again, cable tray, we'll just start from here to there and it'll just have to just uh, loop onto it all the way to the end. So you gotta, you gotta try and do the best really, make it a neat job as possible. But yeah, you can't just, and bend it and make it look perfect so the bending radius will allow it there we go working what we got then so we've got the tray in so that's gonna have to go up to there we'll have to um i don't know we're gonna have to maybe dig it out a bit and then just have the cable coming out the ground yeah it's an really hard deal this this could have been could could have done with peering here really but oh well so what i'll do cable will come around nip onto the cable tray then that lips all the way underneath Jump onto this tray under here, and then goss there's basically a big step. So from above you got wall, and then you got metal cladding. So to shape that, it's gonna just be flapping in the middle. So best bet is just to anchor it here, and the cable will swoop, and then anchor all, all the way along. So this cable will nip up here, throw its hole, and then they're gonna fab a little a little house for it, a little bird box to stop the water getting in. And that'll be this cable in. So it took a while to get all this in. But uh, yeah, it's going to look great once it's all flipped back. Here we go, we've got this cable in then. 
that's it tacked along nice and neat and sweet. So it nips over there. Got a train going fast. It's a long one. Yeah, then, like I said, so that's to just fix. We've got about three fixings there, and then all the rest just fix up there. But yeah, we couldn't really hang anything here because there was nothing to fix still. Um, but yeah, that tacks up there nicely, and then I've Aldrin's just bagged it up so rain can't get in, and I'll build one of these little huts. So yeah, that's us done down here, but I'll quickly show you then how uh, it looks on paper then. There we go, we'll just talk about the charges then quickly then. So that's the, well it says new motion, but they changed to recharge. Here we go, so the, with the data connections then, so you have one pro, so that gets powered up and the rest are lights. so you best to go, um, well you, you don't have to have this connection. So this could connect back to the customer's kind of router and get access to the internet that way. And then it's just, a, there's a chain in and out. So you can do it that way, or the, the pro can come with a SIM card and the SIM card just kind of calls out. So you don't have to have that connection back. But you can do it but there's gen up to 15 units or if you if you have an unmanaged switch you can basically bang them all in a bit like a router um that's not managed and basically you just put them all in you have 40 then you have like a hybrid system so the pro goes into your unmanaged switch and then it just leaks all the way out so you can you can just go to one late and go 15 one late go 15 so that's the data connection so we've got a few mounting options then so you can either do a big concrete post and then the cables come up through that little hole there and up the pole. You can have the cables coming out of the ground or you can have it wall mounted and have it come in rear entry. So that could be a nice option, but this is the pole. So the clients made their own pole, so it's gonna be a square and the ground works, they've done the cabling to behind like a like a pedestal as it's good as it's coming up behind and the pedestal is gonna sit in front. So we're gonna to have to make a hole in the back and get the cables up through the pole and into the charger. So they're the mounting options. So that's about it for that then. So this is just telling you how to wire it and that. So as you can see, yeah, it's, if, it, if it were three phase, you've just got L1, L2, L3. Single phase, you've got L1 and neutral, obviously. So that's that one. So then let's talk about how we've wired it then. So you've got um, the side has got like two, three phase, um, 200, amps, like 200 amps per phase. Uh, that goes into like a big fuse board with MCCBs in. So we've basically got one, we've had to, we had, they don't sell them anymore. So we had to spend, yeah, <laughs> we had to sell about, well, we, so we had to buy, I think they got like 400 quids worth of uh, MCB just to get like a hundred M MCB for that. So <laughs> it's retrofitting, it's costly. So basically that, that'll fit in the board. It'll wire from there to a penfold detection device that basically stops you getting electrocuted. Um, if the PME ever doesn't come into the building, um, it just basically it could the, the car could come live. You got this big metal flies up in the car park. That's not very really good. <laughs> so that 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 will detect that and just shut the whole system down. You see, so pin fault detection into that feeds a three phase eight way board. So from the eight way fuse board, we're only going to be using six of those. So they're three phase type uh, type A forty amp. RCBOs basically, that was a bit long winded. And again, expensive piece of gear if you start putting RCBOs three phase. <coughs> but yeah, it needs, it needs it to kind of protect the system. <coughs> so it goes from there um, into your three phase board and then it's just uh, for three phase, it'll be five gore, six mil or 10 mil, depending on the runs to each charger point. So it's just from the fuse board in, fuse board in, you can't loop in and out with these. Um, they didn't ruin the terminals and you'll just basically just melt it. <laughs> so it's just one breaker or one, one three phase type A 40 amp RCBO per charger. There we go. And as far as the data then, like I said, it comes into the Pro and then from the Pro it goes to the Elite and then the Elite, Elite, Elite. So we've done a data chain method rather than going from each point back to an unmanaged system, unmanaged it, like network switch, we call it. So that's how it's wired. So yeah, that's us done down here. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, have a good one from me, and I'll see you on the next one.